say that you want to make your own custom template, but you don't want to go through the trouble of actually writing out all of these uh, template requirements, right? What you can do is you can just have your little system sculpt AI chat open. Let's open a, a new one here and just drag in a few templates that you already like. So um, in this case, what we're trying to replicate here for uh, Pwn Tester is they're looking for a prompt focused on reconstructing a shorter version of the article driven by highlights and notes. So let's copy this and now head over here. Let's paste this description here. I want you to create a new template for me based on my previous template examples I've um, added to the context files. I'm looking for a prompt focused on uh, a reconstruct or focused on reconstructing a shorter version of the article driven by the highlights and notes. Okay, so now what we can do is just drag one of these files, boom, and now we have this one. Another one we can add in here is, let's see, um, analyze paper, uh, summarize, right? Okay, so now we have three great examples, as you can see here. And the one of the most important reasons why we're doing this is so that the bot that we're using, let's use a more high-quality one such as, uh, where is it? Yeah, Sonnet. Um, for, for templates like this, especially if you want a really high quality answer, I would recommend using state of the art. So Claude 3.5 Sonnet is the best uh, solution out there right now, but this should work on even your nice little local 8B models. But anyway, I digress. Um, yeah, let's, let's see what happens here. So let's click enter. Now it's going to give us an answer for this. Now, a great thing about this is that you can continue iterating upon it and uh, you know, just make sure that it is exactly what you want. So let's see here. Um, okay, create a new template. You're an expert article reconstructor. Your task is to create a shorter, coherent version of an article using provided highlights and notes while maintaining the original structure and key points. Let's see if that's exactly what this person wants. So sometimes I just highlight a couple of sentences out of an article and I would like the LLM to write a short summary of those and use the original article for any needed context to glue together highlights. So Let's actually copy this description as well. Um, also, and then add that in. Anything else we missed here? Hey, has anyone created a template that, okay, so let's do a prompt that takes an article, your highlights and notes for it, and summarizes the article based on the highlights and, include, and includes the notes. I want the LLM to write a detailed summary of what matters to me. Let's actually include that as well. Um, so now we can add this as little bullet points. And then let's tell the bot, so great start. Here are a few more things I want you to um, improve, perfect the template with in mind. And now let's just hit that again. It's going to, again, do the whole uh, process. It's gonna give you the entire um, prompt yet again. And let's see here. It's a lot more detail as you can see. Let's read the first little sentence here. You are an expert article reconstructor, reconstructor and summarizer. Your task is to create a concise, personalized summary of an article based on provided highlights and notes, yada, yada. And then it gives you know steps, how the output should look like. Um, and this is all editable, right? So let's copy this. Let's create within our own templates here. Let's do a new template and just, eh, for now, let's just leave it named this. Let's see what it's named here. Um, article reconstructor. So that's what we can name it. Article reconstructor. Cool. And now this is an important part. Um, while it does give you the perfect, um, you know, formatting and everything, you're going to have to, if, if you're copying it from here, you're going to have to remove um, the first two lines until it looks like this. So let me do that again for you. Um, in source mode. So I just switched to source mode here. Um, you can see these little three, this is the metadata for those that don't know, or the front matter. Um, you're going to want to make sure that there's uh, nothing in between the first line and the front matter. So, you know, this is how it should look. But anyway, now if you open up a new note 
and you do forward slash, that should now pop up. So let's do reconstruct, there it is, boom. Article reconstructor reconstructs and summarizes an article based on provided highlights and notes, focusing on what matters most to the user while maintaining context from the original article. Beautiful. Um, that's about it. And again, all you got to do to, you know, you can manually ch switch this around. Maybe you want these to be, oops, headers, right? So you can uh, do headers. Maybe you don't want this to be capitalized. You want this to, you know, look like this instead, right? Anything you change here, obviously, is going to um, affect the output. But uh, yeah, apart from that, I hope that uh, answered your question. And this should you know, make it a lot more um, easy to create future templates. You know, it doesn't matter what you want to create a template for. You just pop in a few key examples that you like, and you just tell, you know, the state of the art in this case, uh, Claude Sonnet uh, 3.5, exactly what you want, and it will produce a perfect template for you.